My name is Olumayo Waukejara. I am from Nigeria. In 1978, the then military government, headed by General Olusha Gombasanjo, introduced the Land Use Act, which basically stripped um, away land, property, from Nigerians and vested this with the government. This meant that the free old system that we had in place before that time ceased to exist. All land invariably became the property of the government, with Nigerians having to lease the land from the government for 99 years. This single act has, um, has of course, has its consequences. The consequences mean that um, Nigerians um, basically then cease to become the actual owners of their land, and what we have is, a, it is the illusion of ownership. The government basically owns all property in the country with Nigerians basically being tenants. South Africa has um, been having the debates um, with respect to the uh, EWC, which is, which is um, a policy where the government seeks to take away landed property from South Africans and um, basically take over ownership and have the right to redistribute this land as they deem fit. One of the reasons why I'm here is to um, explain Nigeria's, ex uh, Nigeria's experience with, um, with this and um, contribute to the, to the conversation around where South Africa may be heading if South Africa goes ahead with the EWC. It's very important to note that from 1978 when this Land um, Tenure Act was implemented, only 3% of Nigerians have so far registered their title of their property with the government. This is as a result of many things, one of, one of which is ignorance. Um, the other is the fact that um, it is expensive to register, um, to get your properties registered by the government, basically to get a um, certificate of occupancy or a deed of assignment. Um, it's also prohibitively expensive. It's uh, very expensive to get your documents um, or basically to register your land with the government. Sometimes this can cost 15%, can, can go up to 15% of the actual um, cost of the property. This means that many Nigerians who are poor uh, do not have a way to rise up or get out of poverty. If you do not have a means to um, register your, your, your landed property with the government, it means that you cannot use that document to, as collateral to raise loans to expand your business. And it's very important that, that's why property rights is very important to get many people, or most Nigerians, out of poverty. I believe that um, the conversations that we're having here would, um, would um, nudge South Africans to reconsider the EWC and ensure that um, they do not make the mistakes that we've made in Nigeria or countries like Zimbabwe who have experimented with this kind of, um, um, this kind of uh, you know, policy. I, I hope that South Africans take a cue from Nigeria. Thank you.